Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is the day you've all been waiting for. This is my I got my braces off video. I'm so excited. I put a special background today. Uh, this is like our celebratory background and I'm kind of loving it. So these are my teeth. I have my before pictures here, which I want to show you. So this, and this is what we started with. So bad. Oh my god. And so painful. So I started my journey with severe overcrowding. And it was so bad that I would get raging headaches in the middle of the night. And I just remember, like, literally having to turn off all the lights, put my head under the pillow, take an ibuprofen, and, like, wait it out. That was my life. Um, it happened more and more frequently as these canines started to come down. So, my canines broke through. I remember it was, like, eighth grade they broke through. And um, they started to grow up here. And for a while, I didn't really mind because no one could see them. But then as I got older, they started to come down more. The pain was so excruciating. And also, they were more noticeable. So I looked literally like a vampire. And when I'd laugh, these gaps would show, which that was something that was new because they were, my teeth were trying to make room for these canines to come down, but there was just, there wasn't any room, so it was taking forever. And so I was developing a gap here, and that's really what made me want to get the extraction. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and talk about the extractions, because I know that's like the one thing that everyone stresses about. I remember when I first um, started my journey, there was a lot of talk about it changing your face and your face getting sunken in and people were just completely panicked about extractions, which I find so funny because no, none of us went to dental school. None of us know why they, like, why would they suggest something that really doesn't benefit them because the dentist does the extractions, like the orthodontist doesn't even do the extractions. So why would they suggest something that they don't even make money from? So for me, the extractions were an absolute must because I was in so much pain from the overcrowding. I could not wait to get these teeth out because I was having such bad headaches. So I got four extractions. I got this tooth removed and this tooth removed on both sides. So after I got my extractions, I had huge, 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 huge gaps and I really was so self-conscious for about a year. I would say it took about, it took about, <laughs> I would say it, they just, they literally just closed two months ago. That was about two, almost two and a half years it took for them to close. And that was like the very last thing in my treatment to finish. And I was really worried that those gaps weren't going to close, and they finally did. Everyone always asks me, is your face different? Is your face sunken in? And honestly, I want to keep it real with you guys. If you get extractions for braces, your face is going to change, okay? And it's not necessarily from the, the extractions. You're going to have your bite fixed. <laughs> And so for me, my teeth were directly on top of each other. So my teeth used to be like this. And it feels so weird doing that now. It feels so wrong. But my teeth were directly on top of each other. Your teeth are supposed to be bottom behind your front. Now you can see these kind of curve in and go behind my front teeth. So they're not uh, grinding against each other anymore, which is so nice because I would grind my teeth a lot at night and it was beginning to chip away at my teeth. My bite is corrected now so I would say my jaw is a little wider but it's so hard to say because I'm currently 35 weeks pregnant, 50 pounds heavier. Woo, woo. <laughs> I'm really puffy right now and this baby 
is taking it out of me and I am just super bloated and just uncomfortable right now because I'm super pregnant. So I don't know that this is like truly my real face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a did, it, did extractions change my face video at six weeks postpartum because I feel like by then I'll be like deflated. The short answer is no, I don't think that extraction changed my face. I think braces changed my face. So that's just my two cents. You extraction warriors can comment below if you feel differently, but my face is not sunken in at all. Uh, it's really, really puffy. If you comment below and you're like, her face is so different, I'm gonna be like, yeah, because I'm 50 pounds heavier. The overall experience as far as getting them off was super chill. Um, I think it's just because I've watched so many braces videos. I knew the process, so what they do is they use pliers to take off all your brackets. Very easy, didn't hurt at all. And then they file off the glue with like a tool and then they do your molds for your retainer. For me, I didn't gag. I wasn't uncomfortable at any point. She did file my teeth down. So as you can see, they just go straight across, which is so awesome because I've always had really, really bumpy teeth. So now they're really, they're just so pretty and I'm really happy. The best part is like laughing out loud authentically myself now because they're off and it feels really good. My baby's due next week, so next week. <laughs> I wish, I so wish she was due next week, next month. And it's just so nice not to have like my mouth all sliced up. It was honestly a pain having braces. It really was. But if I would do it again, I would totally do it again. It's so weird that this is like the end of my journey because when you're going through it, you're like, it's never gonna end. This is like a never ending hell. But here we are. Here we are with perfect teeth. I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm so used to having gaps right here and here. And there's, you know, there's no gaps. It's so weird. It's so weird, but like weird in a great way. Here's my retainer. Here's the top one and here's the bottom one. I would put them in, but you will not be able to understand anything I, I'm saying. They give you a severe lisp, like for real. So I am told, I was told to wear them 12 to 16 hours a day, but I've been wearing them for like 20 hours a day because whew, I can't have these, I can't have these shift back. I just cannot. I've been wearing them as much as I can. Pretty much anytime I'm home, I'll wear them. And obviously at night, because that's when your teeth shift the most. The reason I didn't get permanent retainers is because I just love flossing. It's my jam. And I didn't want to have to like thread it through and all that stuff. So that's why I went with these. I had one tooth in front that the chip, there was a chip. And I got that taken care of. And you know, obviously I showed you guys that they got filed down. And yeah, I'm super happy about it. And I don't know, I just feel really good. I'm really happy with the results. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to comment below. And I wish all of you guys luck on your journey. And I hope that you watch all my videos because I think my I'm really proud of my braces series. It was really fun to film and I'm really sad it's over. But I also... I'm really glad it's over, if you know what I mean. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.